Hello and welcome to Learning English Pro. In this video, we will be covering world geography and in our first part, we will be covering geography related to Africa. Let's take a closer look at what we'll be covering in this video. Key geographical locations in Africa. Some interesting facts with lots of English geography vocabulary. And to give you just a little bit more, we'll be including some English adjectives as well. So lots of English to learn. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell to get an instant notification every time we post a new English lesson on YouTube. Are you ready to begin? This is Africa, a beautiful continent, home to amazing animals and some fantastic geography. The first place we will look at is in the north of the continent. It is a place called the Sahara Desert. And as you can see from the image, it takes up a lot of space. Let's take a closer look at the Sahara Desert. Here you can see lots and lots of sand. The Sahara Desert is mainly comprised of sand and this sand gathers into big hills. You can see them in the image and we call these sand dunes. So let's talk a little bit about the Sahara Desert and deserts in general. They are dry or arid places and there is little wildlife. Deserts can have extreme temperatures and conditions are generally harsh or difficult for life. The Sahara Desert covers 9.2 million meters square and has a tiny human population. In the desert, you might find an oasis, a place where there is water and water makes the land fertile. And this can attract wildlife and humans. It is interesting to note that 75% of the human population in the Sahara lives at an oasis. Okay, let's move on to our next location and it's one I'm sure you've heard of. The River Nile. It is a very famous river and it is considered to be the longest river in the world. The Nile is a massive river and carries lots of water. The Nile is fed by many other rivers in an area called the River Basin. And you can see that on the map on the screen. The Nile is very long. In fact, it's 6,695 kilometers long and it flows through 11 countries. The Nile also drains into the Mediterranean Sea in Egypt. The Nile has been important to humans for over 5,000 years. Its ancient floodplains would nourish farms every August. However, the Nile no longer floods as the Aswan Dam was built in 1970 to generate electricity, but stopping this natural process. Let's move on to our next location. Mount Kilimanjaro. And this is located in Tanzania. It is famous because it is the highest mountain in Africa. Let's have a look at some vocabulary and some information about Mount Kilimanjaro. The mountain is actually a dormant volcano. This means that the volcano is sleeping and it last erupted 360,000 years ago. The mountain is 4,900 meters tall and at the top there is actually glaciers. It is a popular destination for hikers and climbers. Let's move on to a very different geographical location in Africa, the Serengeti, which is also found in Tanzania in the north of the country. This type of habitat is called savanna or grassland, and it has an abundance of grass and very few trees. Would you like to visit the Serengeti? This abundance of grass is a food source for many animals and leads to one of the greatest migrations on the planet, the wildebeest migration. This migration involves 1.7 million wildebeest, 250,000 zebras and 470,000 gazelles. These animals are herbivores, they eat the grass, but they are also prey for lots of the large mammals who live on the Serengeti. These animals are hunters and carnivores and include over 3,000 lions, 1,000 leopards, and approximately 8,000 spotted hyenas. It is a fascinating ecosystem and a very beautiful place. 
Okay, we have time for one more geographical location from Africa. Table Mountain. And this can be found in Cape Town, in the country of South Africa. Table Mountain is famous because it is flat topped. On top of the mountain is a three kilometer long plateau. And this flat area gives the mountain its name, like a table. The mountain is comprised of rocks made mostly of sandstone and granite. Table Mountain is a beautiful place and it is said to have a rich biodiversity. This means that there are lots of different types of plants and animals to be found in the location. The beauty of the area has made it a popular tourist destination with human activities including hiking, caving, rock climbing and mountain biking. That brings us to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. We really value your support. If you have a friend learning English, why not share this video with them and tell them about Learning English Pro. Before you go, please like this video. And if you have any suggestions or a question, leave a comment below. We love to hear from you and enjoy reading all your messages. Don't forget to check out our social media like YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram and Facebook. Follow us today and remember, keep learning English like a pro.